Wow, what a game of basketball at the Townsville RSL Stadium. A capacity crowd, Narelle Fletcher and Laurie Chiswick. And as we take a look at the highlights, it was just go, go, go. Intensity from start to finish. It was physical, it was hard, it was tough. It was hot pace. It was all the things that you want a women's game of finals basketball to be. Well, and the crowd got right into it. The coaches were into it. Yeah. And I tell you what, the players right from the beginning, the effort that they put in, the second and third efforts that they made out there were incredible. That first quarter saw a lot of back and forth action, very frenetic, with Susie Bakovich and Beck Allen being the standouts in my mind. They certainly were. Shanae Graves uh, had, uh, well, early foul trouble, so she went off, and that allowed Amber Heaty to make her mark on the game. And she did a wonderful job. You know, it was really going to test the depth of the Melbourne Boomers if they got into foul trouble in any position, really, but particularly in the big girl department, knowing they had Susie to guard. But Amber Heggie came in, Collins came in, Munro, she played above herself, and they all just did the little things they had to do to help guard Susie. I mean, Susie still ended up with her points. She is going to, but she had to work hard for them. She certainly did, and, and, and she was inside early, and then really sort of, I thought, faded out a little bit and, and became more of a, a passer and evolver, but you still had to defend her. Tess Madgen, I thought, again, played a real leadership role. She didn't score as much as we've seen her in the past, but again, she was constantly out there setting up her players, making sure they were getting it through hands, and they did that extremely well. There was a little bit of a scare in the second quarter with Susie Bakovic going down with a, a knock to the knee. She didn't have too many problems. She got straight back out on the floor. And then we were a bit worried about Kayla Stanish uh, with a, a, a shoulder or arm injury. She played out the second half as well. So all those concerns uh, went out the window in the second half, which really became a, a bit of a grind because it was Melbourne who got the ascendancy then and had the run of play. The second half was phenomenal. It was phenomenal basketball because clutch plays came at clutch times. Both teams at various times during that second half as well started to look fatigued. And then you saw all of a sudden this burst of energy. Momentum swings so frequently in that second half. And, you know, you were just almost waiting for Melbourne's bubble to burst, but they just kept coming back, coming back and coming back. They seem to have an answer for everything. And, and Beck Allen was all over it, the, both the offensive end. She came up with an amazing block after scoring a basket. It was going to be our play of the day. And, you know, she was very close to being an MVP. She got 22 points. Spakovic with 24, leading all scorers there. And there is that block you were talking about, Laurie. But down the stretch, the class of the fire showing through. Well, I think when you, you just touched on it there, Laurie, that they were started, Susie started to fade outside a little bit, but she went back to going inside. It's certainly down the stretch. It opened up perimeter shooting. It opened up options for Susie, and then she was just too tough to guard in the end. You just have to give so much credit to Melbourne for their courage, and then certainly for the fire that they've uh, advanced to that next stage. Yep, they got over the line by five points, 78 to 73 in Townsville.